everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Arian if you're new here so today I filmed a get ready with me like a chit chat get ready with me so you know just showing you guys me doing my makeup doing my hair my outfit all in this video I'm getting ready to go to dinner with one of my friends so I thought I just would film this and you know chat with you guys let you know what's up and I just talked about I don't know what I talked about honestly I was just rambling but I did a little chit chat just so you guys can know what's going on as far as like school what I'm doing stuff like that and then I showed you how I did my makeup kind of like a fall look like a fall natural beat the only thing fall about it is the lipstick and I showed you my outfit and stuff so if you want to see how I got ready and you want to see what I was talking about throughout this video because I don't even know what I was talking about I was just like boom 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 keep on watching and don't forget to like this video comment subscribe all that stuff okay but yeah so if you want to see how I got this look and this sleek hair and this little outfit to go to dinner keep on watching okay so we're recording all right let's just get started you guys so first I'm going to just get my hair out of my face because when I do my makeup I can't have my hair in my face and yeah you know this is a get ready with me a little chit chat girl talk about my life college whatever and I'm gonna show y'all you know the hair and um outfit later but for now we're gonna do the makeup first don't mind this little t-shirt and if you see me looking to the sides you guys i'm looking in my mirror just to make sure i don't look crazy while doing my makeup yeah so today i am going out to dinner with one of my friends i thought i would just come on camera and get ready with you guys because I asked you guys on Instagram. I asked you guys on Instagram what videos you want to see from me. And I've seen a lot of people said, um, yeah, vlogs, hauls, vlogs, chit chat, three in one, get ready with me, a week in my life, more vlogs, girl talk, a day in my life. So a lot of stuff was like, oh yeah, and college advice and stuff. So a lot of stuff was, you know, vlog oriented. So I thought, you know, why not just do a little chit chat, update you guys on what's going on. Yeah, so today's Sunday and basically I finished all my homework and stuff so I'm just treating myself to get something to eat with one of my friends I had a long stressful week a lot of work that it was a lot of work that I had to do it's just very overwhelming I just want to go out to eat just to end my week on a nice note before I have to start back up again tomorrow and my 8 a.m. class which is anthropology got canceled so I don't have to wake up early so I'm just you know trying to have some girl time and just hang out with my friends because I feel like that's important I feel like you shouldn't do school to the point where you don't have a life but I also feel like you shouldn't do you know fun stuff all the time like I think you should do everything in moderation so to not be as stressed I need to like do something that's not involving a math problem reading an article says I need a break whenever I do want to put a little bit of effort into like the way I look or whatever in my makeup I just put a little bit before I do my makeup, obviously I wash my face and then I moisturize it. And then before I do my eyebrows, I use a primer just to make sure, you know, before I do any makeup, it's going to stick on to something. It has like a base, you know what I mean? So I use this Milk Primer right here. And it's the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. Um, I really, really love this primer because... It has a little bit of tackiness to it. Like I said, when I do my makeup, I want to make sure like it's sticking on something and it's lasting throughout the night. So I like this one because I feel like it has a little bit of stickiness in it. Um, just I feel like it's gonna like you know make my um, makeup last longer. And I put this all on my eyebrows and everything because whenever you do makeup, you just want it to last forever. You put makeup. Even though I'm just using concealer, I want that concealer that cleans up the brow to last. Yeah, and I'm breaking out, of course. Like, I haven't been... I feel like every time I want to do a video, I have, like, bumps on my face. Like, they're small, but it's just, like, really? Like, my skin was doing so good. I know it's because of school, because whenever I have, like, a stressful week, it my bump always comes on my face. And this week was kind of stressful because I had a lot of stuff to do. I had like so many assignments for my statistics class he gave us like three assignments on a saturday and i was like are you serious and i know you're probably like didn't you know about them yes i knew about them but i had to do other stuff before that so i was just <sighs> no excuses but really and on top of that i don't even know what my statistics teacher looks like um i don't know his i don't know what his face looks like i don't know what his voice sounds like all he does is send us slides and it's just like how can i learn math by reading 
I, I'm not that type of learner. I'm a visual learner. Like, you got to show me, and then I got to do it. I use the Tarte Shape Tip Concealer to clean up my eyebrows, and I tweezed them already last night. I do my eyebrows myself because, I don't know, I've just been doing it myself. I normally get them, I don't even normally get them threaded. Like, for, like, months, I've been just tweezing them and then using, um this little razor to clean them up but I cleaned them up last night so it's going to be easy for me to just draw um a line under it to clean them up I just take this concealer and I wipe a little bit off and then I take this brush to um take this brush and I just go on top of the concealer I'm gonna look over here to do it because brows are important they gotta be snatched okay they gotta be like precise y'all And as you can see, this is what it looks like so far. And I do this on the top and the bottom. You know, like, I love watching um, chit chats or whatever. But, let me get over here. I feel like it is so hard to talk and do makeup. Like, not hard, but, like, sis will be over here for an extra hour doing her makeup because I'm talking. Because, you know, I normally just turn on my music and do it like that. But I'm going to try to multitask really good today. Because I want to up update y'all on stuff that's going on. And I'm going to do my makeup more like this throughout the video. I just need to look really close for my um eyebrows. I bring the line from one of my eyebrows and I bring it in the middle all the way to the other. Because I feel like that makes it that much, um, that much even and just clean, you know? But yeah, so I asked you guys on Instagram what you wanted to see from me because I feel like my channel is like a mixture of everything. And I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Like I know it's good because it's like variety, but I want to make sure I'm doing videos that y'all really want to see. So, you know what I mean? Like I do school vlogs. I do, I feel like the main thing I do on my channel is vlogs, but I know that people don't want to see that all the time or even like if you don't know me you're not going to be like probably interested in a vlog by me so like i don't know i feel like sometimes i don't do vlogs as much but of course college vlogs because that'll appeal to you know everybody that's in school or want to go to school or just whatever but i don't know like my very first youtube video was a vlog slash get ready with me so i feel like that's the kind of that's the role that i've been on just doing like vlogs and stuff and days in my life and you know more recently a vacation vlog but i just want to know what y'all want to see like i'm interested in i'm interested in a lot honestly and i'm interested in fashion as you guys know i need to post more honestly but you know i'm into like everything a typical girl is into but i just want to know what you guys want to see from me like i know some people want to see more fashion videos from me so i'm gonna start doing that um i feel like my style is definitely like a everyday girl style but cute like i'm all into being comfortable but i want to be able to like be comfortable but still fashionable at the same time so like i feel like that's a you know a, a thing that i want to bring to youtube because i know most people are not wearing red bottoms and all that stuff on a day-to-day -day basis so it's like i feel like i can help the everyday girl like me be cute and fly and not have to spend a lot of money like i shop at any store i'll shop at pretty little thing not even pretty little thing i'll shop at walmart like if something sorry like if something's good ask my friends like if if something's good i'm buying it i don't care like i'm all for like making stuff look good and not having to spend a lot of money i feel like the best people that people that can dress the most don't have to spend a lot and they can still look you know nice but i just want to figure out i just want to know if y'all would actually like watch fashion videos from me because i know a lot of people like, you know, the college vlogs and stuff for me. But, um, college already is stressful. But to have to record your stress, that's just, like, showing y'all my depression at that point. It's like, no, I'm not really depressed, but college is already stressful. And for me having to pick up my camera, showing you, like, what y'all want to see me crying? Because that's all I'll be doing, stressing and crying. Sometimes it's not as bad, but y'all know what I mean. A little update. So... Where can I start? So I'm in school, obviously online. I just got back from Cancun. If you see my Cancun vlog, it's up there. It's a part one and a part two. But honestly, I went from living my life to uh, the rest. <laughs> it's like, nah, I went from living my life to being super stressed. Not even super stressed, but just like 
relaxing and not having nothing to do and feeling like I um, just don't have like nothing going on to like I have a lot going on and it's like I honestly rather have the feeling of me doing a lot versus me sitting around doing nothing like let me know what y'all like would y'all rather like relax and not have to worry about nothing or are y'all more like no I rather have something to do so I don't so I feel productive because I'm like I want to feel productive you know what I mean so supernatural you can't I didn't even fill them in all I did was clean them up and I used some little eyebrow gel to have them in place so now I already have the I already used this first primer but now I'm gonna go on with another one so this one was more so to have stuff stay in place for me and now this one is the baby skin primer and I use this just to get rid of like the excess oil and pores on my face because I do have very oily skin and that's why my hair gets oily fast and then I've been using the Fenty Beauty foundation it's the pro filter hydrating longwear foundation and i'm in the color 345 and i've been using this foundation to put on my face but i use this because it's even though it's a foundation it doesn't feel super heavy and i don't like you know having a cakey face where i can feel the makeup if i if i can feel the makeup it's too much and it's a little bit darker than my natural skin tone but i think it i think it evens my face out because i have like hyperpigmentation i think that's what it's called and like this my cheeks are a little bit darker right here and like darker right here it looks like a natural contour but I'm, I'm pretty sure it's from the sun i wish i was wearing i wish i was wearing sunscreen when i first was born because don't you ever wish you was doing like so much stuff when you were born because now you're just like messed up now that you're a little bit older like i wish i started out eating super good i wish i was wearing sunscreen but you know i didn't know that stuff in my anthropology class um i don't spray i don't spray my beauty blender and i'm using this little sponge um, I doubt it over my, all over my face though. Speaking of, um, sunscreen and, you know, not feeling like I had to wear it because I was black. In my anthropology class, we were just talking about this in her lecture, her recorded lecture. And she was saying that black people have, um, obviously more melanin. And that acts as a natural sunblock. So, it turns out, like, you, we really do have, like, um... We really are protected a little bit from the sun, but it doesn't mean we're. She said it doesn't mean we're, we don't. We're not supposed to wear it. It just means that we have a natural sunblock because of our darker skin. But regardless, the sun can still damage you. So that's exactly why I, um, you know, got sunburnt in Cancun because I wasn't used to that much sun at all. I feel like I'm going all over the place. Like, let me know. Like, let me know, y'all. Like, am I doing alright? Cause. I feel like I'm just boom, 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 jumping from, like, one thing to another. Like, that's how my brain literally works. I could see, like, a bird fly and be like, y'all see that? And then come back and be like, what was I saying? But let me know. I'm I'm a rookie at this. Yeah. So I'm just blending this all out. And like I said, I have my towel near me, my little um wash rag or whatever, so that I can, like, kind of take, look at that. I kind of take my beauty blender and take some off. Because I do not need that much, like, and then I kind of come on my ears, definitely your neck, definitely your neck. Yeah, so, as you guys can see, like, this is really, really good coverage, and I did, like, two pumps. And then I constantly, you know, keep tapping off the foundation. I keep tapping off the foundation on my bath cloth just to get rid of the excess. Because as you can see, it's already, you know, pretty full coverage on me. I don't need that much. When you do your makeup, come all the way up to your baby hairs. That's really important. Come to your ears, like this part. I know people say neck a lot, but the ears and the baby hair line and stuff matters too because if you don't, it's going to look like makeup, boom, popping, neck and face, and then your ears are a different color or your outline or your head is a different color. So that's what I make sure I do. Like To make it as natural, I go all the way up into my scalp. And then sometimes like I'll actually like... I have like a whole bunch of weird makeup hacks, but like I literally will take this and kind of pat it off. And can you see how much came off? Not a lot, but I feel like the stuff that comes off needed to come off. Like, so now we're gonna move on to concealer, and I'm gonna use the same concealer, the shark, the I say the shark, <laughs> the sh what is it? The Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. And I'm debating if I want to use this one or if I want to use the KKW concealer. I'm going to use this one because I kind of like this one even though it takes a 
a little bit longer to blend out but it's like a stick and this is what it looks like hope you guys can see that because it's kind of light and I kind of just get all the way under my eye like that put it on these little bumps that decide to appear I know it's because of statistics like you don't even gotta tell me I know it's because of that <laughs> so and then I kind of go I go down the bridge of my nose oh shoot and then I come down here because it gets like red by my nostrils for whatever reason I come on top of my nose like that on both sides right here and I do a little thing that everybody does with little three little things I don't know I feel like it makes a difference so yeah like I said this one just takes a little bit longer to blend out but I mean I like the Tarte Shape Tape one as well so yeah I don't use the cons I don't use any like um spray to blend this out because using the spray would just make it look weird and the texture weird like I don't know it's kind of just like the water doesn't mix with the product like it'll look like splotchy or whatever and I don't like that all right just blend that and if like the highlight looks a little bit too washed out or weird in a certain area I'll just take the other side where the foundation was to um to clean it up and I'm gonna go ahead do this side I guess I can talk about how I'm doing with school and how I'm staying organized during like you know the, everything that's going on um I think it's just about I don't know like it's a lot of stuff going on and it's hard to say don't do this and just stay motivated when it's really overwhelming to be in school while this is happening it's just overwhelming period for anybody that's in school that's not in school like there's a lot going on but for me to stay organized and less overwhelmed I kind of make like um checklist so on your computer or on your phone you can go in the notes section I, on my computer I have like sticky notes up and I kind of have a checklist of the stuff I want to get done for the day for the day and you know I just check it off with a little check emoji on my computer or I'll go on my phone and you can actually like make a list and tap the little open circle to say that you did it so I kind of do that because I feel like when I have something written out my computer okay yeah I feel like when I have something written out my computer is about to freaking explode I don't know what it is yeah so I was saying like how I it's hard to stay um motivated or whatever but how I do it is I make checklists and if I don't meet everything that I wanted to do that day I don't beat myself up about it I just bring it to the next day um but I would just say like having something written out for me to see it's better than just storing it in my head like if I have my white my calendar over here it's on the floor I need something to hang it up but it's right there it's like a dry erase calendar and I write down my what I want to do for the whole month as like an overview but then for more for more like day-to-day -day things I make lists for myself so I can you know just be reminded of what I want to do and when I say I write down everything I write down everything I write down wake up at 9 a.m. if I need to I wake up brush my teeth like stuff that you wouldn't even need to write down I do because it just makes me feel like all right I did this I did this even if it's something very small like I feel like you should just you know be uh, not be appreciative but you should like you know be happy that you did something even small as like waking up early if you normally don't wake up early or taking a shower like people like hey of course you need to be clean I'm not telling y'all not to take showers but stuff that can be like easy for a lot of people sometimes is hard for people that are really stressed out like stuff that is like so um small or small i think you still should you know applaud yourself on because not even taking a shower but just like general stuff that i eat three times a day like am i okay before i have all this stuff that my professors are asking me like that i do self-care for me that i you know do stuff that i wake up that i meditate that i eat that i you know what i'm saying like did i get done what i want to get done for me not for a professor or if you do want to get your work done for you, then did you get it done for you? You know what I'm saying? Like, do stuff for you first. Like, I know a lot of people expect stuff out of you, but it's impossible to feel less stressed if you're constantly trying to satisfy a requirement or satisfy somebody else. And you got to make sure you're good first so that when you're dealing with, like, school and relationships and people, that you're giving them 100%. Because when I'm in a bad mood or I'm not feeling like myself, I can't give somebody else 100%. You know what I mean? 
and y'all um it's how many days it's probably been like a month about a month into the semester and i only cried one time so we're off to an okay start because i feel like one time is pretty good for me i'm more so kind of just press it into my skin versus leaving it kind of like immediately after i do it but yeah i was just saying like you have to make sure you're okay before you can give 100 percent to anything in life how are you going to do your work if you're sitting there stressed out like yeah you can push through it and do it but is it going to feel good like i want to do my work when i made sure i was good first like all right i ate i'm good like no teacher i even said this when i was um in school like if i'm hungry and i didn't eat i'm going to be late to your lecture i'm sorry like it might sound rude a little bit but at the end of the day it's like i'm paying all this money to for my education which i you know i'm paying my money i don't want to be late all the time but like in certain situations i'm not gonna sacrifice my health for a lecture you know what i mean like i've even seen people in my um lecture get up and leave because well i knew why the reason why they left because um they didn't eat all day and like teachers like professors i feel like sometimes they don't I feel like something, a lot of them are okay with being like down to earth, but still, those aren't that are not down to earth about stuff. It's like, how? Like, how as a human could you not relate to this? You know what I mean? Like, of course, if it's a habit and you're getting up and leaving all the time, it's like, okay. But if you do it once in a blue moon or it's something going on, like, I feel like they should be understanding as people first. So I'm just taking an angled brush like this to do my contour. And I like it because it's angled. And when it's angled, you can like easily. Oh shoot, you can easily like match it up to the um, contour this line or whatever. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm using the Fenty Beauty Bajangal um, bronzer. And this is what it looks like. Don't go too crazy on this because whew, you just don't need to. And make sure when you do your um, contour, don't bring it all the way down here because you don't need a line coming by your mouth. You just want it to be at the cheekbone. So kind of go higher up more like higher than normal i take the powder and i'm going to dip it because this does not like to come out for some reason and i'm gonna just oh and i'm gonna just clean up my contour so it can look sharp so what i did was i just put the powder directly underneath the contour line and that's going to help clean it up and i kind of come down here as well to just make it less intense because you're putting like dark brown in your face you don't want it to look weird you know what i mean and i already have like my face is naturally freaking dark right there so i don't know and then for my nose contour i don't really like drawing it sometimes i do but i feel like it comes out weird every time so i just take um i just take the same powder that i was using and i kind of dust it on the sides of my nose i don't make it super precise with like a freaking um, small brush or whatever because I feel like it just looks weird and I hate when I can see my um, contour not blended so I just kind of take it and dust the sides of my nose like that so what I like about it this angle brush already has an angle so it allows me to like get in there as far as the sides if you want it more precise you can do that too but I don't know I feel like whenever I try to do my nose contour, it looks weird as heck. Let me know if you had that problem. But maybe I'll come back and let me just try. And I'll come up here to make it a little bit more put together. I just came up and just fixed it. And you wanna? They talking this group me all the time. And Sunday is a popping day because that's when everybody do their homework, including me. So now that we have that, this is what it's looking like so far. As you can see. It probably don't even look like I have that much makeup on. It's because I don't. Like, I put it on, but it's, like, very slight. Just enough to look cute and bomb and put together in pictures, but not enough to make it feel like, oh, my God, I want to take this off, like, right now. Makeup, for me, is just natural, everyday girl, but still bomb. Like, bougie and cute. But not bougie in a way, like, you bougie, like, you want to talk to about. Like, bougie in a way, like, you have standards and you're, like, a bomb boss but you don't have to do too much to be you know but not bougie in the way we act not bougie in our character bougie in the way we carry ourselves. that's the difference my old teacher told me that too she was like you know ariana you know what i realized about you um it's either like you 
put your effort into something and you like really care or you just like what did she say because i, I want to see what she really said she said you, she said you either really care or you don't and that's the first time like i really like when somebody tells you about yourself that's when you start to think like wait i really am like that and it's kind of bad a little bit because it's like you should always have a medium with stuff like i said you should do everything in life in moderation including like your how you go about certain things but like i just it's either I like something or I don't. And that's for a lot of stuff. Like, you don't have to sit around and know if you like something. Like, if you don't like a class and you have a week to determine if you like it, I'm the person to drop out because this is not what I want. Like, because there's instances where I stay in the class and then from that day that I realized I didn't want it to the end, I was like, I still don't like it. So it's like, for me, it's like, I'm not going to put something effort into something when I don't like it. I tried it out. I don't like it. You know what I mean? And that's for a lot of stuff. Like, and it's hard. It's really a, a bad trait, but it's like nobody should have to. You know, it's a gut feeling. Like, you don't have to. Um, you don't have to wait around to know if you like something. You know what I mean? So, and I feel like I'm talking about freaking relationships, but I'm, I promise you, I'm not. I'm just saying in general, like my life. Like, I don't wait around. Like, if I'm not, if I don't like something, I don't do it. Let me know if y'all like that. Like, is that toxic to be like a person that wants it to be right, or are they not doing it at all? Cause I feel like that's not really toxic, but it sounds toxic. Cause it's like it's like I'm a perfectionist, which I am. But it's just like I don't know. I feel like I'm all over the place. But let me know if y'all feel me on that. It being right or you just not doing it. And I'm not even talking about relationships or nothing. But that could apply to a relationship. You know what I'm saying? Like why would you friendships, relationships, job, school? Why are you waiting around and it's something that you don't like? What's the point? You're just gonna be stuck doing something that you don't like. Like I'm the type of person. Like if I get a job and I'm not liking it. I'm going to quit. <laughs> like, it's easy to say because I don't really got, like, bills and all that stuff like that. But I feel like, I don't know. Because I have to see how I am when I have, like, my own house and stuff like that. But I feel like when I do get there, I'm going to still have that same mindset. Because when I don't like something, you're going to see it on my face. And I just seen that, um, I just seen that post the other day. I feel like I'm just being real, like, boom, 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 boom. But, like, let me simmer down. I need to calm down. I'm doing too much. Um... I ran out of my Urban Decay All Nighter spray. I need to get some more of that, but I'm gonna just use this spray instead. It's not the best, it's just to set it. It's a natural beat to the point where it's like the she had makeup on. That's what we wanna go for. Cause makeup is supposed to enhance your beauty. Kind of flick it like this. Don't worry y'all, I'm gonna do my hair too. Um, yeah, it's kind of freaking greasy, but at this point, we're just going to use some dry shampoo. I'm going to put a little bit of highlight on. I'm going to use this Rihanna one. I keep saying, I keep using the Fenty Beauty Rihanna stuff. I just, that's like my favorite brand at the moment. I don't know. I just like it. Whenever I go to Sephora, I go straight to the Rihanna section. Because I'm like, yep, got to support my sis. Her nose is looking snatched. I'm going to go ahead and spray a little bit more of this spray because the more spray you use, the less powdery your makeup looks. So, I just spray a lot so that when it dries, I'm back to having like a regular looking face and not just like I just put 10 pounds of makeup on. So, that's why I spray a lot. Okay, I checked my candle because when my candle be on for a long period of time, I'm like, you okay, girl? You okay? Because, sis, I just, I had a bad experience with the candle before, so I'm just like, oh, God. Okay, so, we're about to move on to hair in a little bit. And I really want to because I can't stand when my edges are not laid like sis. Like, no. So, I'm debating. I think I want to do, like, I'm wearing, like, a nude outfit. So, I'm thinking I want to do a lipstick that pops, like, a red or a burgundy. I'm not really into, um, lipstick as, as much as I used to. In middle school, I had the whole matte collection. Matter of fact, I'll show y'all because it's right here. It's for displaying mostly now, but look at that. I have every last MAC lipstick they have in the store. I don't even wear none of them. The um, Tiana Taylor collection, she collabed with MAC. I normally don't go to MAC because it's like, I feel like I got all the lipsticks. I don't like their foundations. They're too heavy for me. But I went back because Tiana Taylor dropped a um, collection with them. And I got all her stuff. So look at her packaging. Like, it's so cute. Um, she has this one. I think I'll do her, her burgundy, actually. That'll be cute. And I'm going to go ahead and fill this in. Hopefully my battery does not die before I do this. Okay, yeah. Shoot. I need to stop rushing, yo. Okay. Very much 
beautiful. Patting that. Don't worry if it looks messy because you always can clean it up with some concealer, which is what I'm going to do. Take the Tiana Taylor Matte Collab Lipstick. And this is like a dark red and it's in the color. I said that's in the color. And it's in the color a rose in Harlem. Rose in Harlem. And yeah. Speaking of a rose in Harlem, have y'all listened to that Tiana Taylor album? Because if you had, if you haven't, are you crazy? Cause that album was a 10 out of 10 for me. Straight up and down. Number one to the bottom. Tiana, sis. Her album was bomb, and then right after the album, she come out with a collab with Mac. Like, sis was on point. So, now for my hair. Hmm. So, I'm going to take this headband off. I'm going to use this paddle brush to brush it and make sure I'm still on the camera. Yeah. So, I found my comb. So, it's just this comb. I like these because you can really be precise with your part. And, oops. I'm going to get this. I do a middle part and just kind of part it. Kind of takes me a few times because I'm not the best parter. And yeah, I just do a middle part. And as you can see, like it's still like it still has flow to it, but it's nothing like it was when it was freshly done. So the thing about the dry shampoo is that it really makes it. So I was talking and it was stuff on my teeth. That's why I don't do lipstick. So what I'll do is I don't really need to flat iron it as much because it's like bone straight. But you can see how it's like separated a little bit. Like if I get my hair freshly done. This does not happen. So in order to like make it not like that, I kind of pick up my, the, like the hair at the top of my head and spray it like that. It came out white because I was too close, but the further you are, God dang, <coughs> no chemicals in there. But um, the further you are, the less white it comes out. But you can see like it's, hold on, it's still kind of stringy. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Now you're looking at it and it's not as, okay. I feel like I'm just doing a horrible job explaining it. But let me come down here. <laughs> okay, I feel like it's like, you're not gonna be able to really tell the difference on camera unless you feel my hair. You might can tell a little bit, but let me see. Okay, this side, look at that. You can see how it's a little bit more shiny, but then you come over here and it's like, not as shiny it's because the um the spray absorbed the oil but i don't know if i should tuck my hair like this today or just wear it out but i'm gonna still do my edges because it's like dry so i'm using this eco style gel it's barely any in here but we're gonna make the we're gonna use all of it and i'm gonna just put it on a little bit on my edges. I don't really use that much on my hair. It's like freshly done, like pressed, pressed. But I use way more when my hair is like natural, not straight. I just take this type of brush. Don't judge my brushes, y'all. I've been having these brushes for centuries. And I kind of just slick. Ooh, I kind of just slick it back. Like and I'm gonna do my baby hairs my favorite parts the baby hairs I've been doing baby hair since I was literally a baby like I feel like they just frame your face we'll just do a little bit not too much and I'm gonna just take this probably don't even need to this is just like me being extra just gonna take this and go over the ends of my hair like that just to make sure it's like all put together they probably didn't even do nothing but I swear, I just feel like I'm doing something sometimes. Okay. My cord is like all tangled with like my other cords. I love when I get my hair cut. I really do. Like I don't like when I take a whole bunch off, but when I feel like I get it cut, it just makes it more thick at the ends and more like, more healthy, you know? All right, so now I'm gonna put my outfit on and then I'm gonna show you guys my outfit once that's on. And I'm gonna show you guys the perfume that I'm using. I'm gonna show you guys my favorite fall scent. I'm gonna see you guys when I have my full outfit on and I'll be right back. All right, so excuse the mess in the back and my mirror, but this is the outfit. The blazer and the shorts are from Misguided as well as the um, 
top. They're actually, the whole outfit is from Misguided. I didn't even plan that. I think I did. I don't know. But I had tried this on in a video before, but I never got to wear it. I was supposed to wear it in my Cancun, during my Cancun trip, but I didn't get to wear it. But my watch, Marc Jacobs watch, yeah. I wanted to wear shorts before it got cold outside, so I threw this outfit on. And yeah, I like how it's new with the white, with the um, gold detailing with my necklace. And the shoes are from public desire they're just black and they have a clear strap so i posted this perfume on my insta story before and you should follow me on instagram if you don't I'm gonna put it on the screen down below and down below but i use this um perfume and it's the ysl black opium perfume and i feel like it's the perfect scent for fall and winter because it's like a warm scent so i am getting ready to go so i'll see you guys in my next video and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, follow me, all that. Thank you so much for watching.